Hello and welcome to the 8th edition of UTA Spotlight Spring 2017. I'm Camille Connor. Today we talk about some construction that's happening around the city of Arlington, what students think about Facebook's newest feature, and we catch up with the seniors on the men's basketball team. Thanks for joining us. This is UTA Spotlight. The theater located in Six Flags Mall is being demolished after 21 years. Christian Guardado tells us more. The Tinseltown Movie Theater, located in the east side of Arlington, opened their doors one last time March 31st. The building is being demolished 21 years after their opening date back in 1996. But this is much deeper than simply a theater ending their business. This act brings a handful of mixed emotions. I'm very sad that the theater's closing. It's me. I've been here for five years. This is my first job. Having this Pacific Tinseltown movie theater close their doors once and for all, and construction begins to take place over the next couple of months, according to Jackie, saying goodbye to this establishment is like saying goodbye to well-treasured memories. One of my friends that I've met seven years ago got me this job. I still talk to her, and well, I guess this is like the memory of our friendship getting stronger. But, yeah, it's going to be very sad not being here every day. After 47 years, what was the first shopping mall in Arlington will now stop existing. And now that this Tinseltown movie theater also closes down, both will now just be history. What was once a successful establishment in the area is now only a pile of debris. But not for long because according to tentative plans from the buyer who purchased what was left of this property, plans on replacing this old shopping center with an industrial vision in mind that could come to employ up to 2,000 people. Christian Guardado, UTA News. Another change that happened this week was on social media. Facebook users can now upload stories like they can on Snapchat and Instagram. This week, Facebook added a new feature to their mobile app. Users now can upload stories just like on Snapchat or Instagram. A story is a collection of videos and photos that users upload and their friends can watch them for 24 hours, then they go away. I spoke to two UTA students who have very different social media habits. Let's take a look. Well, I post daily and pretty much my stories as of recent, I've been more thematic, kind of like follow an idea, and um, having a story being told on it, the story functionality essentially, mm -hmm. and really creating something that would engage somebody who has that sort of Snapchat attention span, as opposed to the feed mentality. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's usually how I tend to post on my stories. I think when Facebook first came out, I got a little bit too addicted to it. After I kind of broke that addiction, I decided, you know, I'm not just going to open up whatever social media platform comes up next. I'm just trying to stay away from it. <laughs> getting too addicted to and like having entire days go by where all you've done is scroll your feed and look at stuff. With Instagram, I know that I'm pretty much looking at a wildly millennial market with a little bit of bleed into, you know, your baby boomers. So Instagram, it's very simple to just be me. With Facebook, um, I feel like I have to really change that because the nuance with Facebook is it's not a college um, medium anymore. Now it is a wildly 20-year-old to 80-year-old you know, demographic. So with my Facebook stories, I'll take a, probably a more um, update kind of approach. Not so much uh, crazy and like wild and sporadic the idea. Like I probably still do entertaining stories to be fair, but it'd probably be a little bit more um, centered. I'd probably try and like uh, make the theme a little bit more digestible, have a thought to it. Maybe like script it out like on a note, on like on an app, and then, you know, try and produce it essentially. And um, I mean, that's what I would say, but th that's me saying. I really haven't put any um, practical application. It's great that it's there. I think it could be really useful maybe for like some sort of marketing sort of thing. It could be used for a promotional tool, you know, if you see this video and you enter the code, you can get a discount or something along those lines. That, that seems like it might be useful, but in my personal life, I can't imagine why I would need a, need a video that deletes itself. Javier Gerbet, you 
WTA News. This is the first time the company allows users to know who views their content. On another note, in UTA sports, the men's basketball season has come to an end. We reflect back on this past season and we look ahead to the bright futures of our four seniors. Season. With the school's first victory against the University of Texas, becoming the Sunbelt Conference champions, and packing the College Park Center each week, the Mavericks have been grateful for the Arlington community's support and dedication. We had a lot of big wins, St. Mary's, uh, Texas, you know, that's real historic wins. We got the most wins in UTA school history. I mean, so, I mean, it's just been an amazing season. I enjoyed it. We went to the NIT, we made history. It was just a great experience to be a part of it. Going to Texas and beating them was probably my favorite win since yeah. I've been playing them four years. Every year it was closer and closer. We went to overtime last year, and when we lost the last year, that's something that was like a bow that I had with my team. And I said, I'm not leaving UTA without beating Texas. Coach Young, he uh, was cool with uh, my coach at Tyler Junior College. Came down, and you know, he just saw potential in me, and you know, I appreciate that. I appreciate all the all the things that they, you know, put in my way. Just trying to give my best every single night out there, trying to get the team to play the right way, and trying to give everything for Coach Cross and the program. Yeah, I look up to them, you know, they are perfect examples of like what we want to be as men. You know, uh, they always look out for us, they want the best for us, they give us great advice. Uh, I mean, they make sure we're doing well in the classroom, I mean, they just want the best for us, they show us a lot of love, so, I mean, I really appreciate that the most. Coach Cross has been quick to mention this year's batch of seniors as the heart and soul of the team, not only with their leadership, but with their aggressive tone-setting play. Yeah, our senior class uh, means so much to our program. Uh, they've helped build our culture. Everything that I preach and teach, uh, these guys have embraced, and uh, they've helped pass it down to the younger guys. And we're gonna miss those guys dearly. Uh, you, you can't, uh, you can't really even understand until they're gone what they mean to the basketball program. But those four guys have been four of the hardest workers. Uh, they're in the gym in the mornings. They're first ones there, last ones to leave. Uh, they embrace the take the stairs mentality, the tough guys, uh, playing great defense. Everything that we're about, those four guys have been awesome embracing it. We went out there, my team played a great game, we won, and then we had a chance to come back here to the College Park Center and do something special. With all the people that came to support us, that felt, that felt amazing. That was one of my dreams and goals, to be able to feel the CPC, and when that happened, in, it was amazing. As far as our fan base, we had a lot of more fans this year, you know, had a lot more support. And uh, I just feel like it's a little more bittersweet because I know I'm about to leave, so it's a little sad. But, I mean, from my junior to my senior year, it's been a lot. I mean, nothing but an improvement in yeah. every area. So. I'm really happy for how things have gone. I, I really couldn't have imagined everything to go this way and this well. So I'm, I'm thankful and blessed for having this opportunity and trying to make the most out of it. And now I have a four year experience I'm gonna remember for the rest of my life. These talented athletes have made a name for themselves using this ball, but they're not content with the goal from the three point line. They're shooting a little further. Thanks Emily. What these seniors have done and accomplished at UTA hasn't been seen in years. Leaving their mark and their legacy is one we won't forget. We had an opportunity to talk to these athletes about what the future holds after graduation. I want to graduate now in Maine, but I want to focus on the future in trying to play basketball professionally, either here or always overseas. So after graduation, these seniors plan on sticking with what made them who they are today, and also wanting to give back by possibly being a coach. I, I plan on continuing basketball. Uh, that's like my first goal, you know, it's something I love, so why not? Try to go overseas, you know, something. So, see, I'm going overseas. I plan to go overseas. I'm sign with an agent soon. So, uh, if that doesn't go my way, then I, you know, I want to be a coach. I want to coach and you know, youth and just uh, bring a team together and win a championship, like you know, I did here. With having their futures planned out, these seniors will be taking a major learning key to learn during the past season with them, also known as take the stairs. It's a great, you know. It's a great thing to have in your head, you know. Don't take the easy way out. And just, yeah, accomplish goals the hard way. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm a, the concept is not to take the easy road. You know, always work for what you have, you know, so work for what you want to get, you know, so yeah, I plan to take that approach. Unfortunately, one senior, Jew Charles, was unavailable 
But Coach Cross had a little to say about his future and the man he has become. Then Drew Charles uh, thought about playing professionally overseas or something, and he thought about, well, do I just go ahead and go on and move on to the real world? And he's already had a job interview with a home company. I think he's like an on-site manager. Uh, I mean, Drew, such a such a great leader. He, you know, I mean, he's close to 4.0 in the classroom. He got his undergrad and grad degree in five years while playing basketball. I mean, that's that's amazing right there and for him to do all that and then play basketball at a high level speaks volumes to what he's about and the character level of him. For UTA News, I'm Emily Arsema. And I'm Angel Rodriguez. We wish the seniors the best. Well, that's all we have for you on this eighth edition. On behalf of our producer, Janet Ramirez, and our videographer, Benjamin Diaz, we'd like to thank you for watching UTA Spotlight.